Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as some of you know, I've been working as an actor for about four or five years now, um, but part-time. And so now that I'm out of school, I'm trying to do it full-time. So I figured why not ask the professionals who are already doing this what they think. Do they think I'm going to make it in Hollywood? Do they think I have a shot at this? Pretty much I'm going to be DMing a bunch of actors and actresses who are super, super famous and DMing them my headshots and a few of them my demo reel. Now, I don't actually think they're going to respond to me. I don't expect them to um, because why would they? I'm just a random girl. But I have acknowledged the fact that it is quarantine and they probably have nothing better to do so I'm hoping some of them see this I don't know I mean last week I tweeted my never have I ever video to Mindy Kaling the creator of the show and she liked the tweet so I mean do I think she watched it probably not but you know what she acknowledged it so that's giving me a little hope that maybe some of these people might respond to me um we'll see um, yeah so I hope you guys like this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and let's get into the video Alright, so speaking of Mindy Kaling, I'm going to start off with the cast of The Office. Now, I'm not actually going to DM Mindy again because she never responded to my other ones. So, I'm going to start off with Angela Kinsey, who plays Angela on The Office, and I absolutely adore her. So, I'm going to send her my headshots. I'm actually really scared to do this. Ah, okay. Hey, Angela, I absolutely love you in The Office. I also listen to The Office Ladies podcast, and it's so funny. I'm a small actor from Toronto, and I was wondering if you would tell me if I have a shot in Hollywood. Here are my headshots. Should I send her my demo reel i don't know if she would actually watch it but no let's just do headshots okay uh now we're gonna do jenna fisher who plays pam on the office and i absolutely love her too so hey jenna i'm a huge fan of the office and the office ladies podcast if you're bored during quarantine and not baking any bread i was hoping you could tell me if my headshots are good and if i have a shot at making it in hollywood she breaks a lot of bread on her insta so now we're gonna do john krasinski who plays jim on the office um, also, he has this new like quarantine like show, some good news. Um, so basically, I want to give him a lot of compliments on that. Um, hey, John, huge fan of your work in the office. Oh my God, a quiet place and some good news. Thanks, love you. I'm gonna send him a heart. I think that he actually does look through his DMs because he's been um, asking people to DM him stuff for SGN. So, I mean, if he responds, I might cry. Uh, now we're going to go to some Canadian talent, uh, Ryan Reynolds. We love Ryan Reynolds, um, Blake Lively. They are like the most attractive couple I've ever seen in my life. Hey, Ryan. Also, he's like the funniest person on Twitter, so if you ever get a chance to see his stuff on Twitter, he's hilarious. Um, hey Ryan, fellow, from a fellow Canadian actor to another, please tell me you have a shot in Hollywood. I love all your work and your... I like to <laughs> promote your gin at the restaurant I work in. Now, Blake Lively. I grew up watching you in Gossip Girl and sisterhood of the traveling pants this is actually really nerve-wracking guys <laughs> okay next on my list we have gabriel macht matched i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing your name wrong um he plays harvey on suits now i actually didn't finish suits kind of got a little weird when megan left so i mean from your favorite city of Toronto. It would be an honor if you could tell this local actor if she has a chance in Hollywood. XO. XO. Oh damn it, I should have done XOXO on, um, on Blake Lively's. I'm so stupid. I'm scared. What if people respond to me? After Gabriel, we have Sandra O. Oh. I am and always will be team hashtag team Christina. Love you, flower. We'll send a flower. We'll change it up. No more hearts. Emma Watson. Okay, we're going into the cast of Harry Potter, which is literally my favorite series to ever exist. I grew up watching Harry Potter. Like I have every movie lines memorized. Um, don't watch Harry Potter with me if you don't want to be annoyed. I grew up watching the HP series and you were always my favorite. I'm gonna send her my demo reel. I feel like she's a really sweet girl. She might watch it. All right, so we're gonna go into Daniel Radcliffe. Does he even have one? How is he not verified? Is this even him? Upon further investigation, I believe Daniel Radcliffe does not have 
Oh, he does not have an Insta, so we're just gonna skip him anyways. Okay, so Rupert Grint. Does he not have one either? Okay, Rupert Grint is also not happening. Okay, we're going into the cast of Stranger Things. Millie, Bobby, Bobby, Millie Bobby Brown. Hey Mills, I feel like she's a teenager, gotta like, hey Mills. Hey Mills, love you in Stranger Things, and I love your brand, Lawrence by Mills. Oh, I feel like I gotta say it in a British accent. Hey Mills, love you in Stranger Things. I love your brand Florence for Mills. <laughs> that was a really bad accent. Noah Schnapp. Is it Schnapp? Is it Snap? Is it sh Schnipp? Who knows? Hey Noah, huge, huge Will Byers fan and your content on TikTok is hilarious. Um, Alexa Pena Vega. Okay, you might know her from uh, Spy Kids. Um, and she's also married to Carlos Penavega, who was in BTS. No, not BTS. <laughs> B BTR, Big Time Rush, okay? Which is a show I used to watch when I was younger. Hey, Alexa. First of all, your kids are so cute. Let me know if I'll make it in Hollywood. Feel free to get Carlos's opinion as well. Okay, who else do we have? Liam Hemsworth! Okay, Liam Hemsworth I fell in love with ever since I watched the last song and him and Miley. I'm still devastated by that, but I'm just glad they're both happy. Hey Liam, heard you were filming in Canada recently. Super sad I didn't get to see you, but I was hoping you could give me the honest truth about my headshots. Okay, who is next? Hilary Duff! I have vivid memories of myself as a child asking my mom countless numbers of times to purchase the Metamorphosis album. I completely loved her. Absolutely loved Lizzie McGuire. Uh, loved the movie. I loved everything about that. Hey, Hilary. Hey, Hilary, I've been a fan of yours since I was very, very young. I embarrassingly danced to Sweet 16 at my 16th birthday, 16th birthday party in a giant cupcake gown and it still traumatizes me. However, I would love the OG princess of Pop's opinion on whether my headshots will be good for Hollywood. Okay, I don't know how some people do like DMing 100 celebrities. I'm on 15 and this is a lot. Oh, okay, so now I am gonna do the cast of PLL. Uh, we're gonna start with Troyan. Troyan Belisario. Fun fact, I did background on a movie of her and her husband, Patrick Adams, who also is in Suits, and I met them. So I technically, yeah, I met them. They actually said hi to me and I talked to them. They were really cool, super chill, and you can actually see me um, in background for the movie Clara, and I was lucky enough to actually see myself literally right dead center on the camera, so. That was pretty cool. Um, super nice people. Troy and Belisario. Hey, Troyan. Hey, Troyan, a huge fan of PLL. I was lucky enough to be on the set of Claire a while back and you were super sweet to me. Anyways, I wanted your opinion on whether I'll make it in Hollywood based on my headshots. Let me know, love from Toronto. Now we will do her husband, Patrick Adams. Okay, I'm not even halfway through and I'm having this moment where I'm like, is this like the weirdest thing I've ever done? Probably. I really hope they don't they don't open these. I love how I said cast of PLL and then I just started DMing um, Patrick Adams for some reason. Um, we're gonna do Lucy Hale. Katie Keen looks amazing. It's a new show she's working on. I am also a huge fan of PLL. You were always my favorite. Would love your opinion on my headshots. Oh, my back hurts. Oh. This is a wee little bit tiring, guys. This is a wee little bit tiring. So my internet doesn't want to work right now. It's probably God telling me stop DMing these people. They're going to embarrass you. Okay, I've decided I'm kind of tired and it's going to be so long to DM all these people. I'm going to pick my favorites out of the list and then do it. So, so Mandy Moore. Um, hey Mandy, love you in Princess Diaries and A Walk to Remember it is literally my favorite movie of all time. I was wondering if you could tell me what you think about my headshots. Uh, Will Smith. I am a huge fan of the Fresh Prince. Fun fact, I made a Frosh video based on the Fresh Prince theme song. It was really embarrassing and it was really good. So if you wanna watch that, 
put in the caption below. Um, hey Will, I know you already have a brown girl BFF, Liza, but if you need another one, I'll be there for you. Let me know if you think I'll make it in Hollywood. Jaden Smith. Hey Jaden, Never Say Never featuring JV was the best track of my childhood. I was wondering if you could let me know if my headshots are good for Hollywood as you killed it in the Karate Kid. I'm gonna just send it. I'm scared about this one. I don't know why. I feel like it's gonna be like, ew, you're ugly. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> Justin Baldoni is a sweet man and I think he would probably respond. Maybe, maybe not. He um, was in Jane the Virgin. I absolutely love that show. If you haven't watched it, watch it. You're gonna cry. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. I am and will always be hashtag team uh Raphael. We spell Raphael Ra Rafael Raf Raphael. I don't know how to spell words, I just talk to my phone and they tell me. He's a sweet man, maybe he'll put me in one of his movies next. Gina Rodriguez. Hey Gina, first of all, that seven minute monologue from Jane the Virgin is iconic. I capitalized iconic. I can only hope to be that great of an actor. <gasps> I made a mistake. I wrote, I would love you opinion. She's gonna think I'm an idiot now. Jennifer Garner, she is so sweet. She's actually like the sweetest woman. She's just so positive, I love her. Hey Jennifer, love your cooking IGTV. You are a legend in the acting world. I just wanted your opinion on my headshots and if you think I'll make it in Hollywood. Hey Jen, look at me. I think she'll like that one. While we're at the Jennifer, let's do Jennifer Aniston. Hey Jennifer, you were such an inspiration and legend. Uh, Rachel was always my favorite character and friends. I would love your opinion. Rachel McAdams, I freaking love Rachel. Rachel. I don't think Rachel McAdams has social media. Yellow Monet, I just have a feeling she might respond. She liked one of my comments on her Insta post about her kid. Her kid is so cute and uh, I think she'll respond. Hey Daniela, loved you and Victorious. And I love your Insta and everything you post. Okay, I have a few more, but I think I just wanna finish this off with the Outer Banks cast because I am watching that currently and it is amazing. Like, I've been literally telling my siblings to watch it. I've been telling friends to watch it. Outer Banks is so good. Please put me on the show if you see this. Anybody who is like on that team, the production team, the director, I don't know. I wanna be on it so bad, it's so good. So we're gonna start with Chase Stokes. Hey Chase, I am obsessed with Outer Banks. I'm scared he's gonna see this. It's gonna be devastating for me, but we're gonna do it anyways. Um, I think, honestly, I think I'm just gonna copy this message and send it to the rest of the teams. What if they all talk to each other and they realize that I'm sending the same message? Although, why would they, why, why would they? Imagine I just sent it with like Chase's name on every single message. They'd be like, what the hell? Okay, I'm kind of tired of thinking of things to say because, <laughs> um, I'm just repeating myself, so I think I'm gonna stop there. Um, I'm gonna give it a day, see if they respond tomorrow. I highly doubt it, but you know what? I had fun filming this, so regardless, um, whether they think I make it to Hollywood or not, I'm gonna still try to make it to Hollywood, guys. I'm gonna do it, I'm manifesting this in myself. We're gonna do this, guys, and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.